Kids, this is Jeff from Cantech Support, and today we're going to take a look at Hard Hard Reset, a KT400. So first part is we're going to see how to factory default the unit back to DHCP, which is basically removing both jumpers JP2 and JP3, and then pressing the reset button for five seconds. And then we're going to take a look at how to set the controller to a static IP address by keeping only jumper JP2 on and pressing the reset button for five seconds. Okay, so let's take a look at a demonstration. All right, so we've got our KT400 board. So we're gonna start by removing jumpers JP2 and JP3, and then we press the reset button for five seconds. Once we're done with that, you'll see the heartbeat LED will go on solid for a little while. And then when it starts flashing, if we want to set it to a factory default static IP address, we would want to put in JP2 back in, put just JP2, and then we're going to press the reset button for five seconds again. Once we're done, as you can see, the heartbeat LED goes on solid again for a little while. And then when it starts flashing, it should be flashing three long pulses, then a pause, three long pulses, then a pause. Now. Don't forget to put back JP3 back in after you're done with the factory default static IP before you save your configuration, or else it will revert back to a static IP. Hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day.